The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. And while the boys' state basketball tournament is well underway, the Red Lake Warriors are gearing up for action tomorrow. This is the Warriors' fourth straight trip to state, and this year they have their eyes set on a very big prize. Heading into their fourth straight Class A state tournament, the Red Lake boys basketball team has only one goal on their mind. Just to try to win a state championship and bring it back home, make everyone proud. But the Warriors' task won't be easy. They come into the tournament unseated and will take on top-seeded Minneapolis North in the first round. Being unseeded, you know, it, it was it's difficult being where we're at, but, you know, I think we're a very good team and, and I know what we can do and so hopefully we can play. On Thursday. In a 78-70 loss to the Polars earlier this season, the Warriors committed 38 turnovers. So they say if they can take care of the basketball, they believe they can pull out the victory. It doesn't matter uh, what the record is, it doesn't matter what the polls say, what other people say, you got to go out there and play. So we're going in there with a level head knowing that this team can be beaten. They've been, they've been beaten before. They're not, a, they're not a super team, but they are a really talented team at that. But that doesn't mean they'll stray from their game plan to get out and run and push the ball in transition. We're going to red light basketball. We always look to run. Uh, transitions is our thing. We get stops, leads us to our offense. You know, we just have to take care of the ball. And while they refuse to look too far ahead, we got to take care of that 36 minutes first before we move on. This team is determined to go down as the best in Red Lake history. That's all we want to be. We're just going to go out there, work our hardest, and try to bring home that championship. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.